So my name is Naomi Chepkwang. This is the Souf Poultry Farm. We deal with layers and we are based in um, Kaponja in Kisumu West sub-county. Uh, this farm is part of the Nyahera Integrated Farmers Group. So we basically have 3,007 birds here that are 20 weeks old and uh, they've started laying. They were brought in when they were one day old. We are currently at 20 weeks and we've started receiving some, some, some eggs. So basically, the type of bird here is uh, Isa Brown. So we got the chicks from Kenchik and uh, we are currently using feeds from Pembe. Yeah, so what happens is at, the, at one day old they come in boxes. So you do like a brooder, a small brooder that you keep expanding as the birds grow. So once they get to about uh, 16 weeks, 12 to, to 14 weeks, that's when you put them in cages. So this, like, this, this is one cage from here to that side, and it's supposed to take about 128 birds. But for this farm, we are doing about 96 because we do not want our birds to really struggle and um, struggle for feeds and water. So the production here currently is still very low, just below 5%. And we're still using grower mash just to boost their, their weight because the birds start laying at 1.4 kgs and above. After that, once we get about 5 to 10 percent production is when we shift to layer mash. Then now the, the production of eggs begins from there. So basically in this farm we've uh, gotten a lot of support from uh, the county government in terms of technical support. We've been guided by most of the directors and uh, in the Ministry of Agriculture. And we are really excited to partner with the county so that we may teach young upcoming farmers on how farming you can actually do agribusiness and earn a living from it. Yeah, so I'm really grateful and you're most welcome. Okay. Yeah, so as you can see, these birds feed from here and they take water from this pipe. Usually the birds are attracted to red and yellow color. So whenever you put them in the cage, if they see anything red, they'll try and see what is there. So once you see the red, here there is water and here there is food. So they'll always eat and drink from, from the pipe. Then um, you can just come. So like this bird has already started laying. At least one of them has started laying. We have a number of them this side on the upper side. So this tells you that at least maybe one or two are laying here on a daily basis. We have one there, so that is a very good sign that our birds are actually doing well. The expected time for, for them to start laying is between 18 to 21 weeks. So our own birds started at 19 weeks and that's a very good sign for us. Yeah. In terms of the structure, so if you are if a farmer is interested in doing uh, poultry farming and specifically layers, this, your structure should be well aerated and should have a lot of lighting because layers produce a lot of heat. So if, if they'll be squeezed and there's no good aeration, then there'll be a lot of heat in the room. Then the other thing about layers is that uh, they, they are very clean and very sensitive. So any small stress, they'll stop laying or your production will be affected. So most of the time we try and make sure that they are, the place where they're staying in is very comfortable. They get clean water throughout, and then we also give them feeds. So our feeding program starts at 6 a.m. Then we also give them feeds at 11 a.m. and at 3 p.m. The reason being, the, the feed has an aroma that attracts the birds. So if you put all the feeds at once in a day, you'd find a lot of leftovers. But if you do them in steps like we do three times a day, then you'll realize that they'll finish the feed on time. So we still have more eggs here and more eggs here. We also have others. Yeah, so in a nutshell, that is, uh, this is our farm. And uh, my apologies, I didn't say when we started. So we started the uh, poultry farming 
way back in 2019, but we were doing it on, on small scale. But later we got, uh, I, I really used to struggle to sell because I was doing meat. So at that time I was doing improved Kenyaji. Then when I struggled selling, I decided to stay with them and have them for eggs. So I used to have like seven trees of eggs a day and there was a lot of demand. So that made me think twice and say, why can't I shift from poultry for meat to, to layers? And uh, so I did my first big number in 2021 January. That was 1,500 birds. So this is my second flock. This is 3,000. Yes.